I call a bait here. <laughs> There's no way he can one-shot me with any move that he has. Oh, tickles. Oh, and he f mother baited. Please get there. Registeel, I believe in you! Yeah, mother All right, Registeel is on steroids, dude. Boom, shakalaka. Who was worried? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This team is the version of the previous team that I have shared because so many of you have messaged me, hey Z, what should I do if I don't have a Purify Sableye? This is what you should do. I did a 22, no, no, 21-4 with this team on the first freaking try, ladies and gentlemen. This team is so freaking good. As you have saw, Registeel is packed. Baby, Registeel did so good as you saw from the intro. I hope you enjoyed the intro, by the way. Please leave me in the comments. I was thinking, start of each video, I'm going to have like a small 15 to 20 second intro that highlights the video that you're about to watch. That hope you makes you watch it all the way through because that really helps me out of the algorithm. And I'm gonna make sure that you're gonna see some epic plays in this video, just like you saw in the first 20 seconds. So guys, also, this team with the Sableye that I have shared last week was so successful I had the most messages about it from you guys saying that you have went 9-1, I went 10-0, I went 14-1, somebody even said I went 24-1 with this team, guys. I could not believe it. I'm so thankful for Dr. Grimmaster sharing this team with us. And now this modified version of it, I have done 21-4 as well. And it's just such a great team, guys. Registeel, as you can see up here, it's just so good, and that was Quetch of the Day, ladies and gentlemen, right there, Lapras here to take some damage. So again, let's go over how we play this team. Oh, and last but not least, thank you so much for the birthday wishes, guys. My birthday was last week, and uh, I had an amazing time. All thanks to you, the gifts, gifts, the messages, and everything. I really appreciate it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. All right, so uh, coming back here. So the, the way we play this team, again, is on lead, we have Trevenant, and if Trevenant doesn't have the lead, doesn't really win it, you want to swap out and catch a move specifically on Lapras. Lapras is number one job here and the reason why we don't have Ice Beam and the reason why we have School Bash is, is for the Ozumarill coverage. And here's the reason for that also as well, because Lapras' number one job is to either do take big damage with the uh, freaking School Bash or just be the damage magnet by taking damage from the opposing Pokémon without using any shield whatsoever. You only shield Lapras if you absolutely must win that switch. That's it. Other than that, you do not shield that Lapras. You keep the shields actually for Trevenant, both of them. But if you suspect it's double fight, I mean not double fighter, if you suspect there is something back that could like one-shot the Registeel, which I don't think there's anything like that in this meta currently right now, by the way, just so you guys know, um, then you keep one shield for Registeel. But other than that, guys, um, Registeel is just too good, too good. Okay, so right here, when you see uh, Vigorot on lead, you can actually spam the seed bombs, which will do a lot, and, and Vigorot can't really do much damage at all whatsoever to your uh, to your three here. I mean, where is the counter? The only thing you can hit with us is honestly the Bulldoze, and now he swaps out into a Beedrill. That was a really nice swap by the opponent, we gotta give it to him. And uh, that Beedrill is awesome, but now what we're gonna do, we're gonna Quetch Root Registeel, it didn't work, so... What we're gonna have to do now, because we came in with Mr. Registeel, is we call it a bait. Oh, that is not a bait, so it is what it is. <laughs> we have called it a bait. The, the next one will be the bait for sure, because he knows we have two shields. And he already shown us that he has Drill Run, so running through this to his mind, this is definitely gonna be a bait. I guarantee you this is a bait because he knows we have to win Switch here. So by sh not shielding here, we win Switch! <laughs> we called it a thousand IQ play. Take notes, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, leave your notes in the comment. I want to see your notes. Just so you know. So yeah, so just like that we win Switch because we read our opponent's mind. Oh man, can we please blast this bunny away? Oh damn, we're gonna shield this register because we want to throw the focus best to get rid of the lost shield here. And then once we have done that, we are sitting pretty, pretty well with this setup and with this lineup right now. We, he still doesn't know we have a Lapras in the back and that's all we wanted to have. And now he's gonna have to throw here. He has to throw to get rid of us. He cannot farm us down. Nice, he sniped us. This player is good. We gotta give it to him. But we're gonna come in with Trevenant. Even if he throws a Bulldoze, we'll live this, by the way. Uh, beautiful. So Bulldoze, and now we can get the Seed Bomb. We'll do pretty good damage here. 
and they've been sitting really well. Lepras will definitely handle the bunny. Uh, there's nothing we can worry about. There's nothing we need to worry about, honestly. We don't have the shield here. Uh, we can farm. We will survive this body slam, by the way. Yep, we can farm it down and we should be able to get to. Oh, actually, we're not gonna get there. He's, we farm each other down. That was weird. It's almost like he got like two or three counters for the price of one. Niantic? Anything to say about that? Anyways, so we're coming with our. This is already over, guys, by the way. Um, we, we could just surf, surf this thing down and then we will just win this. We just absolutely win this. Oh, and guys, please, be, before I forget, please don't forget to smash that like button. It really helps me out, guys. It really helps me out. Since you guys have been smashing that like button, my views went up by 1,000. I'm not even kidding you. YouTube started to recommend my, com uh, my videos again, whereas before it did not. And thanks to you, by smashing that like button, guys, it really, really helps out. So please don't forget to smash that like button today. If you're new to the channel, hit that sub because it posts brand new videos every single weekday and now starting on the weekends as well. And this team is a winner team, just so you guys know. I highly recommend that you invest into these Pokemon. Um, if you don't have uh, a Lapras, invest into one. You don't need Elite TMs for it besides a fast move. You don't need the charge Elite move. Don't TM it away, build a new Lapras so you have two different versions of it. Because the meta will shift again and Ice Beam will be good eventually. But anyways, so Ozomori on lead is really good for us. The only thing that sucks about it is the Ice Beam. We live on Ice Beam, but Ice Beam does do a lot. So I usually shield the first one and they usually swap out. As I predicted, they swapped out. And now we come in with a Registeel. And Registeel absolutely eats Altaria for breakfast. The only thing is, guys, you don't have to shield anything here. But the only thing that I hate that Dragon Breath, I think, is still doing just too much damage. I mean, look, look how much Registeel's health goes down by Dragon Breath. I just don't think that's realistic. I just really don't think that it's realistic that Dragon Breath is doing that much damage for Registeel. I mean, look at that. Look, look, I honestly don't think that's realistic. I really think it needs a nerf. Either Dragon Breath needs a nerf, although I do like Dragon Breath. I think it's a good move. But I think maybe the Steel types would need a slight nerf on their defense or something because uh, both Poison and Charm and Dragon Breath, I think, does way too much than intended to an actual Steel type Pokemon like Registeel. Honestly, I just, I just think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I just really think that it does too much. I mean, look at that. I definitely don't want a shield there. But as you guys can see, what happened, you know? Ooh, Bastidium. Man, now I kind of miss my Registeel because I really want to Focus Blast it. And I love Focus Blasting Registeels. I mean, Registeels, Bastidiums. That's like the best feeling on Earth. It's better than sexy, sexy time, just so you guys know. Uh, and if you, in case you guys never experienced it, it's overrated. Uh, focus Blasting a Bastidium is way more and way better than, you know. Anyways, so... Uh, this is good, we're gonna, ooh, nice swap, but we're gonna swap out as well, and we throw that CD Bumby into Ozumarill, and this is gonna hurt a lot to that little bunny right there. Boom shakalaka. And we're gonna get to another one, easy peasy. We still have a shoe, we don't have to worry about it. We should be able to get to, uh, actually, I think we, can, we should throw double Seed Bump into the, oh, wait, never mind. We can just get to a Shadow Ball, it's low enough. I was gonna say double Seed Bump and it's better, but but no, we can just throw a Shadow Ball, it will KO from this range, and this is a winner, winner chicken dinner. And I think Lepras even has a, a Surf on it anyway, so we would have won this even if we somehow lose our little three there, Trevenant. All right, guys, what do you guys think about the team so far? I'm telling you, this team is so freaking good. I, I, I don't know what else to say. This team is good. It slaps. It's, it's really good. I really enjoy playing with it. I really enjoy playing with this team. Okay, so Merivac on lead is pretty bad for us, but usually... Uh, actually, lots of times they swap out because look how much damage you're doing to it. They're doing just as much to us, but when you uh, bait here, they always shield because they cannot afford not to shield the Shadow Ball. See what I said? And then we catch with the Lapras. And Lapras can tank anything, anything at all whatsoever uh, from uh, from Elder Merivac. But also, what I recommend is if you want to stay in, you do win the two shields uh, with your uh, Trevenant. But I don't really like to stay in honestly with Trevenant just because uh, you never know what they have in the back, if that makes sense. So I want to keep my Trevenant alive. As you can see, they have Azumarill. And again, if they would have lost the shield, then uh, Lapras would have won against Ozumarill with the School Bash. Um, so, or it would have taken it low enough that Registeel can sweep. But we are sitting so much better with the two shields right now. We don't even have to shield here. As, as you guys know, you know the rule. The rule is that we keep the shields for Trevenant uh, and worst case Registeel. So now Trevenant gets the first shield. 
and probably gonna get the second one as well. But we're gonna over farm here because he has no shield whatsoever on the AWAC. So we're gonna farm up extra, get rid of the bunny, and we are going to shadow ball that AWAC. Is that our plan? So let's see. Is he coming? Yep, we can shield it again if we want to, but we honestly don't have to because our Lapras can easy peasy win this already. So I didn't want to waste it on it. I just want to keep the shield for Registeel because Registeel with one shield against zero shield should be able to win against anything in this meta. And that is a Credili. So we have, I love the Spice by the way. So we have nothing to worry about. I think it has, uh, it has Bulldoze, but Bulldoze is a horrible move. Um, it cannot KO Registeel from almost not even halfway health, I don't think. So there is nothing we can worry about here right now. Even if he throws a bulldoze, but he doesn't have it, obviously, he's throwing grass nut. So we're gonna focus bus this critically, and this should be... Well, actually, I don't know if focus bus chaos. Is it for chaos? Oh, he just quits. Damn it! Couldn't BM it. <clears throat> what do you guys think about the team? I highly recommend this team, guys. I highly recommend this team. It's so freaking good. Um, if you tried the other team, or if you were asking, because I got so many comments, what do I use? Z, 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 Z! What do I use? Instead of Sableye, if I don't have one, this is what you use. The Trevenant. It's such a good Pokemon, and it does... The only thing you have to worry about is Fire, of course, okay, with this team. But here's the thing. Um, fire Pokemon is non-existent in freaking, in freaking, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Great League, Open Great League. In Remix, there's a lot, so don't go in Remix with this team. I would recommend you Sableye in Remix. Oh wait, you can't use uh, Sable and Remix, but you can I actually did a Remix set and went positive still with this team. I just wanted to check it, but I've seen lots of fire that made it pretty hard to play. But it's still playable. Okay, oh, it's, dude. Yeah, Scrafty with Acid Spray. Okay, I love this spice so far. I love this spice so far. Uh, interesting. By the way, you don't have to swap out your Trevenant. You can just double shoot a Trevenant against a Scrafty. Uh, and you basically just throw Seed Bombs. Uh, into that uh, Scrafty because you're gonna outpace it and you're gonna able to spam it down and win the matchup. So that's what I probably would recommend, but he double shoots his Scrafty so he knows. The whole the whole team could get swept by a Scrafty, just so you guys know. But uh, like I said, I would stay in with Scraft, uh, Trevenant and basically just throw Seed Bombs and you'll be able to win the matchup. Um, if they swap out, you swap out as well. So, but with energy advantage, so don't forget about that. And now this is really good for us. We don't have to worry about it. I mean, Rock Side will hurt a lot. Ooh, Mud. Dude, what is this team? I forgot about it on the stream. I was like, what the hell, man? So now I'm just gonna come in, catch this. This is gonna be another Muddy Water or something. Yeah, just Muddy Water. Uh, I was like, I, I, I couldn't believe that all the movesets on the... <laughs> on all the Pokemon that this person was using. And this is this isn't an Earthquake again. It was way too soon. So he's just throwing Muddy Waters. Um, so I was like, what the hell is going on? Like, you never know when you climbing, you face some spicy teams like this. It was just absolutely fun to uh, run into it. Uh, I also recommend overfarming here so you can get to the focus vest. And obviously, uh, we are going to need to throw this focus vest, able to get rid of this crafty. But we called his bait, and we know he can. Be, he's only throwing a power punch, which will live. And now we're gonna be able to throw that focus blast. Booyah! Boom shakalaka! And now he has. Oh boy! Oh boy! This is actually close. Because doesn't it have a, like icy wind or drill run? The seeking. Yeah, dude, we're gonna have to get to another uh, seed bomb or we're gonna lose this. Okay, thank God. Um, because the Seeking is actually a pretty liable, viable Pokemon in this meta, honestly. It's, it's a really good Pokemon if it has, like, what, triple legacy move? Does it have triple legacy move or double? I think, I think that's one of the Pokemon that has triple legacy move, if I'm correct. Anyways, guys, what do you guys think? Did you like this team? Did you like this team? Smash that like button and see you tomorrow for more.